Ralph, what are distributed energy systems all about? Well, distributed energy systems technically means everything small, below 50 megawatt, below 100 megawatt. The key logic behind is electricity generated at or near the point of consumption. Um, the logic behind it is to utilize locally available resources like wind, um, solar, so renewables, gas, heat pumps, whatnot, um, and uh, tailor them to the locally uh, local demand. So having your own electricity system interacting with the grid, but being you know in your control behind the meter on your voltage level. And where are we at in the journey of this? I mean, is is this technology being rolled out currently around the world? And if so, what kind of uh, impact is it having? I think the way how it is going to be rolled out is completely different. I call this the democratization of energy. So we're going from a system where few big companies invest billions in generation assets, grid assets, etc., to a world where it all becomes affordable. So it's a, it's a game of millions investing thousands in their own local energy supply. Uh, starting with rooftop PV, every individual can do that and think in a, in a bit larger scale. So the opportunities are there and it's getting cheaper every day as we speak. It's getting additional functionality every day as we speak. So it's going to be rolled out more bottom up. So to answer the question precisely, I think we're in the midst of the starting of a new trend of being rolled out. And I think the speed of the development is going to massively accelerate in the next years. And, and who is the driving force behind this? Is it the energy companies themselves or is it the individuals who may own homes or premises? I think it's a mixture. The, for me, the core of the driving force is cost of technology and functionality of technology, enabling everyone to make a decision. So we don't have to wait until a utility makes a decision to you know, or change to a more sustainable energy mix, I can make that decision. As an industrial player, I can make the decision to um, ha you know, be energy intelligent, um, be in, in charge of my, own co of my own energy system, and I can make the decision, yeah. And one of the things I understand is that uh, communities or homes can actually contribute energy back to the grid. Uh, yeah, so, um, I mean, it's, it's becoming a, an ecosystem, right? So it's um, the, the, the typical business cases. I try to reduce my purchase from the grid when grid prices are high. I try to, when I overproduce electricity, trade it back to the community. And there's going to be, I mean, this is like the simple version, right? Just feed in tariffs, feed them back into the grid. I think the next big thing is going to be peer-to-peer -peer trading when I can exchange in local communities. So I guess I'm saying we're, we're at the glimpse of new business models involving that area. Those business models won't be straightforward. Those will, will be new innovative business models. Um, and that's, that's almost like you know, distributed logics in that. So not u using the, the central grid anymore, but um, small microgrids emerging, microgrids trading with microgrids. They've been aggregators aggregating that and, and creating value through that. So it's going to be complex, but it's going to be exciting and it's going to create additional value for each and every individual.